It's been going for five minutes, so <laughs> awesome. you're good. You're good to go. Okay, we're a bunch of second quarter first graders. Okay, so we have been working on this week sorting objects. So you guys should be pros at that. We have sorted by shape, by size, by color. Um, today we're going to continue sorting by color, but we're going to take that a step further and um, turn it into data. And we're going to make um, a graph of our data. And data is simply a measurement of something that you would then input into a graph. So um, our data is coming from our measurements of sorting Skittles. So you guys need to get into, I guess, groups of two, because I have three boxes of crayons. So you'll have to share. Now you're going to be getting a few things, but I want you to sit on your hands until you have everything, until I instruct you to do differently. That way we all start at the same time, nobody's confused, no one does something out of turn. Are we all sorted? Okay. You need to get out this, your Skittles graphing chart. Since we're sharing crayons, you're going to have to start at a different spot, but you need to color the bottom the appropriate color. So you should all know your color sight words. This should not be a problem. Still not eating the Skittles. It doesn't have to be a work of art, just so you know where your dad is going to go. Thank 
Hey, can anybody tell me what they think we're going to do next? What would be the next part of filling in our data? Marianne. Count the number of Skittles. Count the number of Skittles. Very good. So you're going to refer back to your, your sorting mat where your Skittles are. I'm going to start with yellow, and I have four yellow Skittles. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four boxes and color all those boxes. Again, it does not have to be a work of art. Just so you know, I had four yellow Skittles, so I colored up to the four. Since we're sharing, you will still have to, you know, start somewhere different than your, your sharing buddy. And you just continue down the line. Count your Skittles. Fill in the box. idea of how we're going to read this data. How would you read it if there aren't any words? How would you read this data? You would just go up to the number and you would just tell. number instead? Yeah. So if I asked you, James, how many red Skittles you have, what would you tell me? Four. Four. Good. See, that's not so hard. Okay, once we have this filled out, you're going to refer back to it to answer the questions on your response sheet. Aside from number one, everybody's answers are going to be different. Okay, number one, how did you sort your Skittles? By color, by shape, or by size? Which one? Color. By color. Why wouldn't shape or size work? exactly right. They're the same shape and the same size. While you're filling out your response sheet, you may eat your Skittles. You will just need to refer back to your graph sheet to answer these questions. Now, if a question asks um, how many in all, what does that mean? Combined. Combined. Total. Total. Very good, James. That's exactly right. So, you're going to have to do some addition. And again, looking at your neighbor's response sheet will not help you because your Skittles what are... What happens if I have the same color to, to amount in two of them? Ask that again. Like, I have the same color for two of them and they're my greatest amount. Do I write both of them? Oh, out? yes. Yes, you would write both. Ms. Henry? Yes. My mom told me I wasn't supposed to eat red because red coupons at Maybe one of your neighbors would be able to eat your red ones if you wanted to share them. Otherwise, you could throw them away. When you're done with your response sheet, I would like for you to bring it and your graph to me. And um, I'm going to put all of our data, our individual data, into a class graph that we're going to put out in the hallway so that everyone knows what we're learning about. And while I do that, you can work on this graph at worksheet. More practice with reading and graphing the bar graph. James, is this yours? Yeah. Would you write your name on it, please? Thank you. Thank you.
So what do you think our class graph is going to look like? <clears throat> Is it going to be little? Is it going to be big? Big. Big. These are some pretty big numbers. I think the highest individual number was a 5, but our combined numbers are going to be a lot bigger. So we're going to read our class graph. The bar represents the color since you can't see the bottom. Um, so which color did we have the least amount of as a class? Green. 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 And how many green did we have total? Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. What did we have the greatest amount of? Red and orange. Red and orange. And how many was that? Could you see? 22. 22 for both of them. So how many total for red and orange would that be? How many total skills? 44. 44, good. So if we looked at this a little bit closer, we'd have to add five different numbers together to see our total number of skittles. So... Ninety-two Skittles as a class. That's a lot of Skittles. So, we've gone over sorting all week. You've proved that you're pros at that with today. And you really are amazing at graphing data. And what's data again? Information. What kind of information? Um, number. Okay, it can be numbers or any kind of measurement, really. Anything that you measure that's measurable would be data. So our class graph will be displayed outside our classroom next week so that the other students can see what we're learning. And we're gonna continue with graphs next week, more, um, more reading them. And we're gonna look at picture graphs along with bar graphs and, and learn how to read those too. And we will create another class graph on Friday. So. Um, once you have your desk cleared off, you may line up to go to music.